Think about it, from designing stunning visuals for games, movies, or advertising to prototyping products for manufacturing, 3D models are the backbone of modern creativity. And guess what? With the help of AI, diving into this world has become more accessible than ever before. In this video, I'll show you the ropes on how to create your very own 3D model using the power of AI. No need for complex software or technical jargon, just your imagination and the tools I'm about to reveal. Ready to unlock the door to your creative potential? Let's get started! Introducing Meshi, a stunning 3D model creator AI tool. From modeling to texturing, these avant-garde tools supercharge your 3D workflow. You can generate 3D models from text prompts, turn your 2D images into a 3D model, and create AI texturing. If you want to create any 3D model with custom software like Blender, you have to spend day after day doing this. But Meshi can do it at the speed of light. It automatically generates customized and realistic textures with PBR maps. From voxel to realistic, it supports a wide range of art styles. To access Meshi AI, open your browser and search for Meshi AI on the search bar. After getting the search result, enter the first result. After coming to this page, click on Try Meshi for free. Now we have to create an account. You can create an account or can connect with your Google account. I will go with my Google account. After creating the account, you will get 200 free credits. You will get 200 free credits in every month. If you need more then you can buy credits also. As of now, I will use the free version. If you scroll down, you will find some showcases of models created by Meshi. First the AI texture model, then the AI texturing, then text to 3D and last the image to 3D. Alright, come to the left tool panel. Here you will find the tool list of Meshi. First the AI texturing, then text to 3D, and last the image to 3D. First of all, I will try the text to 3D model generator tool. This is the text to 3D model generator. Here you have to enter the text prompt. I will enter a very basic prompt. For example, I am entering a cute fennec fox. After entering the prompt, you can add some negative prompts. For example, I don't want red color in my model, so I am typing red. After that, you can enter a seed number. I will help you to generate continuous generation. This time I am skipping it. After all is set, hit the generate button. It will take some time to generate the model, let's first forward this part. And here it is. Meshi generates four 3D models for us. Let's preview it one by one. All of the models are very good. Now you can download it and refine it with a 3D editor like Blender. If you think it will consume so much time and effort, then you can refine it with Meshi also. Just select the model you want to refine and then select Refine from here. It will cost a high coin to refine, but takes only 2-3 to three minutes to refine the model. And this is the refined model. You can see the quality. That's really outstanding. I can't even imagine creating such a beautiful model in just 5 minutes. I really love this tool. Meshi AI generates a color map also. Alright, you can customize the texture setting. Once you are satisfied with the model, click on the download icon from here to save it on your device. You can download any 3D model in 3 formats, FXB, GLB, and USDZ format. Select your desired format and then hit the download button and our model is now saved on our computer. Let's have a look with a 3D asset viewer. How is it looking? Let me know in the comments section. If you are enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Alright, now let's generate another model with some detailed prompts. I will enter a ready prompt associated with Fennec Fox. And this is the 3D models. These are beautiful. And this is one of the refined models. Alright, now we can generate any 3D model with a text prompt. But what if we have a 2D image and want to convert it into a 3D model? To do this we need to select the image to 3D tool from here. After coming to the image to 3D model generator page, first of all, we have to enter the name of the model. 
After that, upload the 2D image. I will upload this image. Just drag and drop the image. If you want to generate a PBR map, then turn it on. After all is set, hit the generate button. Now an important point. Always try to insert a front-facing image with a transparent background to get the best result. And here it is. You can see the result. Now our 2D image is a 3D model. Not only that, Meshi AI generates a color map, a metallic map, a roughness map, and a normal map for us. Now we can refine and customize it with any 3D editor. Alright, now we can generate 3D models with text prompts and convert a 2D image into a 3D model. However, creating texture with any model is a very laborious and time-consuming task. But don't worry Meshi AI can do it for you in a very short time. To do this come to the AI texturing tool. After coming to this page, click on try it out. Next, give a title of your project, after that, upload a 3D model. I will upload the Fox model I downloaded earlier. After uploading the model click on create project from here. Now enter the text prompt in this box. After that, describe your style, then add your negative prompts if needed. Next, select one art style from here. Then you can customize the setting of UV and PBR map settings. In the last, select the resolution of your texture. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here is our result. That's looking so gorgeous. You can see Meshi generates necessary maps for us also. In this way, you can generate 3D models and textures for your project. It's a true AI assistance for anyone who works with 3D. If you want to know how you can automatically rig these AI-generated 3D models let me know in the comments section. AI will make a detailed video on it. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating 3D models with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!